Hello, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this old card. I was getting stuck for cards to make and um, so I looked through my old cards and I found this and I thought, oh, I haven't used this stamp set for a long time. It's still current. So I am going to make this card. To make this card, I'm changing the colour because it's pen pal day and this month's colour is pink so I'm going to use a blush and bride card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half I've got a piece of white card stock for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I've got a piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside, uh, outside sorry. Um, the bird, I haven't got any birds so what I've done I'm going to change the little bit of decoration I put on the top and I've come across this lot. I've got a bird here from Free as a Bird so I'm going to put that bird there and I've got these little tags that I cut out from Sailing Home so I'm going to have one of them on and I also found in my box some stuff I cut out a while ago from Free as a Bird. A couple of leaves and a flower, which I'm going to put on there as well. And I've got this box here. And somebody asked, what do I do with all the things I stamp and cut out and say, oh, I'm going to use that later. Well, they all end up in this box. And I have got loads of bits in this box. There's kangaroos, there's the rhino, cars from Geared Up Garage, flowers from Hummingbird, and I can't remember this set. Oh, I've got a couple of them anyway. And oh look, free as a bird there as well. Not coloured in. A couple of them. Some corners and some there's loads of stuff in here. There's even some uh, what are they? Where's that from? Lake pad, lily pad lake. Yeah. There's even Christmas candy canes. There's another bird. Oh, that one's blue. Hmm. Keep that out. Some of the daisies. Loads of stuff in here. So I went through that and that's what I've pulled out. I'll keep that in case I make a mistake stamping my sentiment. So, that's what I plan to do. I need to colour these in. Colour them in afterwards. So, I am going to use the stamp set Painted Harvest. And we're going to use the leaves and the flowers. I'm also going to use Free as a Bird. And I'm just going to use the sentiment Hello, as this is for my... Um, pen pal and I just want a little one so that's what I'm going to use so to get started my nice clean pad we are going to stamp um, the flowers and I'm going to use Blushing Bride ink. I can never remember which one you stamp first. I don't think it makes a difference. And we're going to put one there. Just looking. See if I've got a scrap of paper to cut one out. One there. 
and one there. And we get the second one and we go over the top and That's how it goes. They're quite nice. Right, a stamp another one out to cut out. I haven't got one cut out so you'll have to be patient with me while I cut this one out. Right and then we need some crumb cake. For the centers. I never get these right in the middle, so what I do is stamp them twice. Oh, that one I did. Stamp that just again. I do. Right, that one, that one finished. Now we need some old olive for the leaves. Ow. Now I have got a mask. I don't know if it will stick anymore because it's been in there. Yonks. So I'll just have to hold it. we're going to do the solid bit of the leaves first. So I am going to put one there, one there, and one there. Just go around the flowers. Do the same here. One there, and one up there. And then this one can have one coming down. Try and cover that up as much as I can. There and just stamp off a bit up there. Right, go around them again now with the vein stamp. Now, this is going to be a little bit hard. because my stamps are so well used is seeing through them so I'm not going to be getting them right on oh I did that time Two out of, I don't know how many I've got spot on. Ah. 
right that's my leaf my flowers done and there's a spot for inside isn't there let's put some of these little dots in the inside in green Some more than others. Let's put another one there and fill this one up. And We don't need that no more. Don't need that no more. What we do need is this and our little sentiment and our little hello. I'm just going to pop that in the middle. Nice. Found four of these little things and I didn't need them, which I'm quite pleased about. Right, now to cut out this flower, all we do is just go Round and round, in and out. I suppose I'm cutting this off camera. Terrible. All I'm doing is following the spikes of the leaves round and just cutting them out to that shape. flying off somewhere. Well, for those of you who asked after my uh, older sister, she's doing fine, she's now home, walking around. The only thing she's been left with after a stroke is her right her right hand yeah she's having trouble with her right hand but it will get better with physio she has to walk with a walking frame at the moment just for stability but other than that she's doing really well Let's 
say it comes in three, so hopefully that's the end of it for us. I had a sister diagnosed with breast cancer this year. My granddaughter, who had a traumatic birth, I lost the ability to have any more children, but she's fine, she's doing well. And then Mrs. Older Sister. Right, this I'm going to sit in between these flowers. Okay, I'll sit it, no, I'll sit it here. And my little bird up there. Yeah, I quite like that. So, let's stick this on card base. It's funny when you get new stamps and your old stamps go to the back of the shelf. Maybe never see daylight again. Should have stamped a flower on that inside, but never mind. I'll show you, I've already got Sam's card this month. She's on the ball. It's only the 4th of August, and I've already received Sam's card. So let me go and get it, and I'll show you. It's just behind me. This is the pink card that Sam sent me. Isn't that really pretty? Little buttons and an elephant picking his droopy flowers. And she sent me, um, she did all the inside. Delight in the beauty that surrounds you. We love Isn't that lovely. And she also sent me some bits and challenged me to make a card with them so I will I shall make her a card with these bits don't you worry Sam might not be as pretty as your card so yes yeah, so that was my card from Sam right that's that All right now we need some dimensionals oh, a small Oh no, they're large. And I'm going to put three on this. And I'm going to place that there. And my hello is going to go there with my top that bird under. Hmm, yes, I like that. So I need a dimensional on that end of it. And on the bird yeah, hiding behind we need to come over a little bit that's it Yeah, I won't use some other stuff I've fished out. They can go back in the box. So 
So what I'm going to do is put some glue on the end. And put that down. That's straight. Yeah. There. Trying to put the lid on my glue with the lid upside down. Right, I want a bit of glue on there. Hiding behind the flower. Right, we've just put some gems on. Oh, I guess I have. I'm going to put one either side of the sentiment. There. So that's two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one more. Got to have odd number nine. quite nice and that's for my card pal Sam hope she likes it she always comments on my videos so if you like it please give us a thumbs up um, if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.